The pandemic has hit the world hard and caught it by surprise. It shows how digital for every person, home and organization is highly needed, now more than ever. I'd like to explain where new ICT can help fight the pandemic and how digital and trust in tech can help us safely adapt to the new normal and go back to the office. COVID-19 profoundly impacts global, social and economic operations. Digital technology can play a critical role in the responses. There is an active role for new ICT during this pandemic. 5G, AI, artificial intelligence, big data, cloud computing and other technologies all are integrated for innovation and have been applied in various situations. These technologies effectively support pandemic prevention and control, but also support businesses and organizations going back into production. The pandemic progresses through four different stages. Firstly, it climbs and it grows explosively. Then it saturates to eventually decline. New ICT and trust in tech are able to support and bring value to each of these four stages. Gaining insights to identify the situation is crucial in the climbing stage. Supportive technology in the decision-making process and taking action is vital during the explosive growth. Countermeasures support the saturation stage. And economic stimulation packages and social involvement help recover when the number of cases are declining. In the climbing stage of the pandemic, we can recognize there are more cases than hospitals and resources can actually deal with. New ICT can support with online and digital hospital services and intelligent ICT infrastructures guarantee a swift rollout and availability of digital and online hospital services. During the explosive growth stage, it is eminent that contacts between doctors, staff, medical specialists and patients are minimized to reduce the risk of spreading and prevent cross-infection. But in this stage, collaboration between medical specialists is so highly needed. Digital technology and intelligent connectivity make it possible for medical specialists and healthcare teams to collaborate and share information across their teams and departments without the risk of physical contact. The same goes for doctor-patient contacts. Talking about artificial intelligence, what about AI-enabled drug screening to accelerate new drug development and shorten its time to market? Here's another example of how new ICT is a crucial part of critical infrastructures. Long distance clinical collaboration between experts over 5G. Earlier this year on February 18th, doctors used the 5G network to operate an ultrasonic robot positioned next to a patient's bed in Wuhan Guangpi Temporary Hospital, mind you, 700 kilometers away from where the actual medical specialist team was positioned, to conduct a thorough expert examination. Artificial intelligence, AI in this scenario, further assists throughout the process, for example, in the discovery of suspected cases. AI also optimizes the process from patient registration to generating and examining medical images, create diagnosis, and help automate reports. Throughout the world, we have numerous examples of cases already fully engaged with all these capabilities and scenarios. The pandemic opened the door for new ICT. And it's clear that with trust in tech, we can close the door of the pandemic.